tutorial today on how to make your plan. Here are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a box, um, some paper, um, regular pencils and colored pencil. You're going to need your template cut apart. Um, you're going to need to have a ruler or a straight edge and hopefully a Sharpie marker, a black marker, a black colored pencil, um, anything like that will work fine. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your box over on your paper and with a pencil you're going to trace around it. Your box might not be perfectly straight, especially that corners can get a little bit fuzzy. So that's when you're going to take your um, ruler and rule out the edges all around to make sure that they're straight. Check that the corners are uh, nice and straight by putting in uh, your ruler and checking for a neat right angle. Um, once you do that, you're going to get your templates out and figure out how your rooms go. You should um, probably have your plan, um, your original plan posted on the uh, Schoology media page so you can check to see if it's there. If it's not, um, I'm sorry, it may have gotten left at school or your name wasn't on it. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is put in your doors and put in your windows. Think about where they go. And remember that you want to always have your doors um, go to a wall so that your the door actually isn't sticking out in the middle of the room so that it opens up against a wall. Um, and then anytime I wanted to put in anything from these templates, I just put them under my paper and I could see it through it, so I just traced it so that I had the right size and everything was the good, a good scale. I put in all the details and once I got um, everything drawn, I labeled things. And then I got my um, color pencils out. And most homes have a pretty neutral palette, so I just used um, brown because a lot of things are made out of wood. So any kind of desks or side tables, um, I, I rendered them brown. Um, I used gray for the kitchen because a lot of um, kitchen surfaces uh, tend to be either stainless steel or gray or white. Um, we want to have a little bit of color so we can see what it is, so uh, I used gray. Um, the only color I really used is just in the bedroom, um, just to have a pop of color. And then one of the things that you guys want to think about is shading. So the way that um, the model plan I sent home looks, you can see that it looks kind of real. And the way that you do that is with the edges of your uh, furniture, you uh, darken it a little bit and then you slowly get lighter as you go into the center. That'll really help it make it make it look real and rendered is what we call it. So give that a shot, okay? And then what you want to do with your black Sharpie marker or a black colored pencil is all the walls, the exterior walls here and the interior walls, which are slightly thinner than the um, exterior walls, they get all colored in black. Now you'll notice I have spaces here where there's nothing. That's because that's a window. So that just gets left like that. And you should have um, windows unless you're the bunker uh, house. Um, every three days you're going to need to post a pic. So hopefully you can finish this um, and post uh, before our next uh, class, which will be in three days, just like in regular school. And um, you're going to post your progress. So hopefully you'll have your plan done, post it up online, add any questions, comments, or um, any aha uh, tricks that you used or anything that you figured out or learned while doing it, um, that can all get posted on the progress report page. And then in three days time, um, I'm going to teach you how to do the model with the cardboard. So we'll do that and there'll be another demo video of that. And um, I can't wait to see your work and I hope you have a lot of fun doing this. Bye.